Hello and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me at flurn.com where we make learning fun. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a film effect using our free Photoshop template. So here we are in Photoshop with our template. Now, as you can see, we have instructions directly into our template. We're gonna go ahead and start by turning those off and check out this beautiful effect that we have. So we really have a nice effect that looks like we've got a little bit of motion blur added and we went ahead and add some smart filters, including recoloring and adding just a little bit of blur and a little bit of noise to your photo, really giving that unique film effect. And of course, we even have our film border. Now, all you have to do is follow the included instructions. In this case, I'm just telling you how to do it directly here in this video. So we're going to start off by placing our images into a folder marked place images here. We're going to go up to file and then down here to place linked. Now this is going to allow us to place our images directly as a smart object. So in this case, I'm going to choose film effect sample 02. All of these sample images and the template are included completely for free. Just follow the link right down below. So let's go ahead and hit place here. Now, we're gonna scale this just a little bit larger. As you can see, it doesn't make it to the edge of my template. So right up at the very top, we have our width and our height. Let's go ahead and scale it just a little bit larger and hit enter. Now, the first thing that we wanna do is make sure we have two copies of this image. Our first is going to be set to a normal blending mode. We're gonna go ahead and hit controller command J to duplicate that. And our second is gonna be set to a lighten blending mode. And this is what it's gonna allow us to create that really interesting blur effect. Now, all we have to do is simply copy the smart filters directly to our images and adjust them as we'd like. So we're gonna to go to our base smart object. We're gonna to go to this little icon here that looks like the two circles. That is the icon for our smart filters. Now, we're gonna hold Alt or Option and click and drag them directly from this area to my sample image on the bottom. And you can see I've got a little icon that says I'm gonna duplicate my smart filters. There we go. And when I click that over, now you can see I have smart filters directly on my image. We're gonna do the same thing with the top layer. Hold Alt or Option and click and drag them directly up to the top copy that's set to a lighten blend mode. That's all there is to applying our filters. Now we get to go ahead and adjust them to make them just right for our image. So we're gonna click right here next to the double circles we're gonna click on this little down arrow. Now, when I click on that, it's gonna open my smart filters and you can see I have things like levels and noise and motion blur and Gaussian blur. And I can turn any of those off and on very easily. And let's say you want a little bit less motion blur. All I have to do is double click right here on motion blur. There we go. And I can simply change the distance. Maybe I wanna increase it. Maybe I wanna decrease it. And we can even do things like changing the angle of the motion blur as well. There we go. In this case, I think that looks pretty good. Let's hit okay. And let's say we wanna make this just a little bit less visible. All we have to do is simply change our opacity. In this case, we're gonna change it to about 50% opacity and turn that off and on and we are completely done. Save your image out and you are good to go with your film effect. Don't forget you can download these sample images and this free Photoshop template on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. And to see more great videos from Flurn, hit that subscribe button here on YouTube. Thanks again, I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.